Check, check. Yeah. What up, players? Welcome to episode 53 of the Player One Podcast. I'm your host, Tyrone Jr., a.k.a. Hollywood Champa. This is your first time tuning in. What up, player? You've been here before and you decided to return. Welcome back, player. As you can see, we're out here in Heinz Field. We're in Pittsburgh. My flight leaves later today. I cannot wait. I hate it out here. It's cold. It's just ugly. Ugh, all this black and yellow nonsense. Get me out of here. Ravens got the dub. I told y'all. I told y'all we gonna bounce back. We gonna find a way. This episode is brought to you by Season Good Candles. I have the toasted coconut bean. Use the code PLAYER1, lowercase, no space. Use code PLAYER1. Get you some candles for the holiday season. Tis the season. Uh, we gonna keep this episode short and sweet. The outro music is set to start around 9.30, 9 minutes, 30 seconds, so I gotta get this going. You know how we do. We have the three segments. I have the roundup. I bring us all together. The Would You Rather segment, and then Storytime with Hollywood. Uh, hey, this one is, <laughs> this episode is about sports. Baltimore. Ah, ah. Handle business. I know y'all seen that. It's okay, you ain't have to. We're gonna beat them again in a few weeks. Um, alright, round up. Let's go. Ravens. I told y'all we were trying to figure some things out. We figured it out. We was able to handle the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh just really like it's that was a typical Baltimore Pittsburgh type of game. Uh not a lot of exciting plays. Everything was on the ground. We ran the ball down their throats. Our play calling is still like we we're doing well. We're pushing the ball up the field, but Greg Roman, our offensive coordinator, he likes to throw the ball when it's obvious that the run is not being stopped. Keep running the ball. First down, run the ball, and he wants to do some trick reverse, fake reverse pass plays that can almost get intercepted. I, it's so frustrating being a Ravens fan right now. We're so good, but we're not. At the same time, we hold ourselves back. We beat ourselves for the most part. And I put up a poll on Instagram on who y'all thought was going to win. And a lot of y'all voted Pittsburgh. So I don't like none of y'all no more. I don't want to talk to y'all. I don't want to hear from y'all. Only way I hear from y'all is if y'all apologize. Send me a text or something. Apologize. Speaking of sending a text, I appreciate the comments, the feedback on the last episode. I need you guys to continue doing so. Uh, Shoot. Yeah, respond to this next segment um, on this Would You Rather. I think it's going to be tough. Uh, for the roundup, all right, uh, that was the Ravens. I got the Lakers. Lakers, real quick. This is Victory Monday. I'm dropping this on Monday. I woke up, and I was like, let me get this episode out. Victory Monday, we are here to celebrate. And then if you watch this later on, it's okay. By then, hopefully you have had a strong week. Everything is going your way. But we are celebrating Victory Monday. Uh, so the Ravens, they handle business. The Lakers also handle business against Detroit on Sunday. So we up. Uh, roundup, though, the Lakers trade talk. They're trying to get Bohan from Detroit. He just ran it up on the Lakers. It would be cool to bring that to the Lake show. But I don't know. That's, that's going to lead us into the Would You Rather segment. Would you rather simple? I'm going to give you a question. Would you rather do this or that? Red pill, blue pill, left, right, yes, no. I want you guys to respond on the comment section on YouTube. Respond on Twitter. Respond on Instagram. Just I'm going to put up a poll. I want you guys to just respond. I need all the interaction. Uh, would you rather, as a Lakers fan or not, what would you rather see the Lakers do? Keep or trade LeBron? Would you rather them, I mean, he's at his best. He's only getting better, it seems, but we know with age. His birthday is at the end of this month. He's only getting older. Do we trade him now to get younger pieces and kind of think about the future? Or do we keep him and trade other pieces and try to win right now? What would I rather do? I would rather keep LeBron and let's get him another ring. Let's get him ring number five. 
and then that's going to shut down all the greatest of all time talks. I don't want to hear no more. If he gets number five, I, I'll debate with you. We could go number four right now, and I'll still say he's the greatest. But if we get number five, it's over with. We're done with that. Case closed. But what would you rather do? Keep LeBron or trade him? I'm biased because I'm a LeBron fan, so I, I, I would want to see him win again in the Laker uniform. Um, that's it. Moving forward. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a quick one. This is gonna be quick. Last but not least, story time with Hollywood. Uh, I just want to tell you guys, since you if you're here on YouTube, you can see that I'm at Pittsburgh Stadium. They haven't kicked me out yet. Uh, I'll probably get banned after this episode after they see that I took advantage of what they have and then set up my studio. Uh, I'll probably get banned. This will probably be the last time you ever see the Player One podcast. At Pittsburgh, I don't even know what they named the stadium anymore. I don't think it's Heinz Field anymore. I don't care. It's just who cares? This field sucks. It's cold out here. I can't wait to go home back to LA where it's warm, kind of warm. It's kind of cold, chilly, but you know, better than this. Story time with Hollywood. I just want to tell you guys about the first time I went to a Ravens game with my my pops. He took me to watch them play against the Cowboys. He's a Cowboy fan, and um, we were sitting pretty high up, like where I'm at right now. Uh, you know, tickets ain't always cheap, so we, we got the high ups. We stay humble, and we was up. We could still, we have great vision. We can see the field. I can see it all. I like to see the X's and the nose. I don't really care who's in the position. It's just as long as you get the job done. If you are set to run a post route, I want to see run that post route correctly. So if I'm up high up, I can see that if it's being done. Um, but my first time, I forgot how old I was. I was young. I was uh, under, it was before middle school. That's all I can give you. I, I don't really know the age. But whatever year the Cowboys came to Baltimore and Baltimore won, I think we handled them. But my favorite part was when I got to my seat, we sat down, and the song at the time, I didn't know what the song was, but it was Phil Collins in the air. And you know how it sounds? If you listen to that song, it sounds like it has this like echo, it's natural echo to it. My first time hearing it was at M&T Bank Stadium, so it definitely had an echo on top of it. When I heard that, I was like, yo, I don't know what song this is, but I love it. And that song just stuck with me in life. And it's a classic song, who doesn't know it? I can feel it coming in the air all night. I don't really know the lyrics. I just know how it goes. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Hold on. Shout out my my boy Kellen. Shout out 819. Uh, my roommates out ODU. This was like my last set of roommates. Um, Kellen. We used to have this. this, this I'm going to throw this story in here also. This song. Uh... I'm kind of all over the place, and I got a minute, so we go. I got this. Watch. So yeah, as a kid, I'm at the game. I heard this song. I was like, I love this song. I don't know what it is. It sounds like where you know the echo sounds amazing. Then I heard it on the radio. I was like, wait, there's an echo to it. Damn. So I was, I was bamboozled. I thought it was a natural stadium doing that, but it's this how the song is. I was like, dang, that's why that song is so great. But fast forward to college, Old Dominion. Shout out ODU. Shout out the Monarchs. Shout out the gang out in Norfolk, Virginia, uh, for those who don't know. Uh, but my boy Kellen, man, it didn't matter what time of day, what time of night, we could play this song. He, I don't know how we got to it, but it's just to this point. You know, the the build, the beat builds up to the drum. It's famous in The Hangover. That's when uh, Mike Tyson punched the dude. And that part. But pretty much, Kellen used to always... Right before that part come up, before the drum solo, Kellen would yell, Now! It was the funniest thing ever. So, we would be coming in from the bars, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Kellen might not have went out with us. Or if he did, he went and passed out. Either way, it could be 4 in the morning. I had the speaker set up in the living room. And there's a little, little crib with four rooms, like the central living room central kitchen and then rooms uh top right bottom right top left bottom right all corners of the crib 
and you could play that song and when the beat would come, Kellen would wake up. He once woke up as a zombie, opened the door and yelled, no! Funniest time of my life. So shout out Kellen. Kellen's also one of my like graphic designers. I got Kellen, I got BJ. Shout out both of them. Anytime I need any player one related, I can reach out to them and they handle it for me. I love those guys. Um, that's gonna be it though. Story time with Hollywood, episode 53 of the Player One Podcast, Victory Monday. Short and sweet. If y'all could really do me the favor though, I ain't take too much of your time. Last thing I asked you to do. Go to YouTube, go to the page, subscribe. You don't have to pay or nothing, just, just follow. It's just clicking a button. Subscribe to the channel so you get like the my video pops up on your feed anytime I post something new. And like the video, hit the thumbs up, or drop a comment. It can say anything, just say what's up, anything. Just to have the interaction, the feedback, that helps. It's gonna help in the long haul. I don't know where we're going with this, but we're going somewhere. We're gonna keep this thing rolling. You dig? That's it. I'm going to let the beat play. Shout out my boy Marquise. Keese on the beats. This has been one of my favorite beats ever. Back in the day, we were roommates pretty much. He used to just sit there. He was a producer. He used to sit there and make beats. I'm like, damn, that shit hard. Can you do this to that beat? Can you do that to this beat? And he could do it just so quick. That's my dog. He was out here in LA the other day. He had a layover, four hour layover. Me and the homie scooped him up and kicked it at the crib. You know how we, we showed him how we do it out in LA. And then we took him right back to the airport and sent him back home. That was a good time. I appreciate y'all for vibing with me. If you hear this long, hey, you could have been left like a minute ago when the story finished, but we still here. That's a quick episode. I like that. Damn, I wish I could play all the instruments. Oh, yeah, what's up? What's up? Talk my talk. Baltimore, we out here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can use this for a thumbnail. Yeah. 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 There we go. That's it. That's it. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all. We out. We out. Gang, gang.